Previously on Moe's Rants. Yeah, she makes a call. Her first call is to the house. Charles Flinnery speaking. She said, I need to talk to Terry right now, Charles. Now. Terry ain't here doing his homework. You know, one thing about my boy is he's a scholar. We ain't backing down from nobody. Now, Denise is on the phone. Hysterical. Oh, help me. They got me locked up, baby. They said they found some bricks in your car. Come and get me, Terry, right now. They ain't letting me go. I got to pee. Terry, I don't know what you did. Come and get me. That nigga Charles said, Bricks, a lawyer. What the fuck did you do, boy? Now Terry's like, oh, Get a lawyer. I'm going to holler at you later. Terry snatches, uh, <laughs> I'm not Terry. Charles snatches the phone from him, hangs it up, puts him against the wall, and begins to get ready to choke this boy out. We were going to have. Tough neck Tommy, tough neck Terry, and choking Charles all in the house. Charles had him against the wall like Homer Simpson used to have Bart. Ah! Then he just cocked back. Terry was lucky. This is the first reaction Terry had was to duck. And luckily he did because he went through the wall. Bah! Now you got to patch up the wall and still got to paint it, man. You just making him work harder. He ducks up under that. Now Lucille's on Terry. Terry doesn't stand a chance. Whole time Denise is in the precinct crying, scared as hell. Oh, help me, Terry, help. This nigga Terry didn't hung up. He planning on dipping about the city. Terry don't care. Terry said, fuck Denise. Uh, Pops, we done fucked up. There's some bricks. Me and Meech got to go. His mama said, you boy, you is so fucking stupid. You're not as smart as you think you are, Terry. And even Charles is agreeing with Lucille, even though she ain't gave him none in about a month. He still knows that she's right about this. This is one time, one time that he's looking at Terry like, nigga, what the fuck did you do? I can't even blame this one on Meech. This is all you, Terry. You just fucked up Denise's life. Our car business. For what? Three bricks. Terry, three bricks. Now, Terry going through it because everybody's hitting them with haymakers right now. We already know Lucille. She digs deep. And the one thing they prided Terry on was his knowledge, and how he would never go to class, but he would always have an A. But when your mama looks at you and points at you and calls you stupid, it's just, oh! Mama, why? It's me, Terry. Why would you do that? You know I work my hardest to keep those grades up so you know that you can have a son that graduated because me stopped going. Mama, no. Why would you say that? Terry's hurt right now. Terry is hurt. And then just when you think, just when you think that's the end of it, your brother comes in and says, nigga, you are the dumbest motherfucker I ever met in my life. And he's met some dumb motherfuckers. We got Saki in the crew. That nigga was high as hell talking about, I'm taking the bricks to Cleveland. He got mad that Terry came in there and stopped him from getting arrested. Fucked up their party. He told Meech in the BMF meeting. He said, yeah, man, Terry keep coming around and messing up our parties. Dog, he knows Saki, and he said that you're the dumbest motherfucker that he's ever met. Boy, you know Meech was like... Uh, <laughs> All you could do is look at your brother like, nigga, you did what? You went and got some dope from a nigga named Boom that I already told you not to fuck with? And you lost all of it? And you got a girl arrested, dog, all in 24 hours? 24 hours. I told you yesterday morning, go talk to Pat. How the hell did you go talk to Boom and get some work and in 24 hours get niggas locked up? Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. Oh, man. So Meech is looking at his brother like, dog, nigga, do you know what you just got into, man? <laughs> so I told y'all he dug deep when Mama Lucille said, Man, you're stupid. Because when he was talking about, all right, look, the only thing we can do right now is Lamar is on the loose. We got to get the hell up out the city. Those bricks could come back on us. Lamar's looking for us. K9 is looking for us. Boom's going to be looking for us. Yeah, we might as well get the hell up out the city, bro. This nigga Terry going to say, What about school? Really, Terry? Really, nigga? What about school? That kind of made me laugh. When he said, what about school? It made me laugh. Because we know that Lucille was just calling him stupid. But he took pride in his homework, man. He took pride in that, man. You, how you gonna call this man stupid? And he, I mean, he made a dumbass thing. You know, he made book smart as he was A. Hey, he was there. He knew He knew the book smart. He, hey, read between the lines. Terry got it. Sign your name on the dotted line. Terry got it. I ain't got to go to class, but I got it. But the dope game, that's where Meech excelled. That's why Meech was like, let's do it this way. This is what's going to happen. And when they were running them numbers, yeah, looking like Isaiah and Dennis Rodman, oh, off the backboard, Rodman with the rebound. Yeah, they were good back then because Meech was making the plays, and then Terry was just doing what he said. Now, you know, they did have their little fumbles. That's what he was saying. So with Terry trying to step up and do it on his own, he got the book smarts. Don't get me wrong. He got the book smarts. He just ain't got the street part yet. You know what I mean? He's still learning. But that hurt, man. That hurt. Your mama calling you stupid. So he's like, all right, look, uh, real quick, I got to make a run, and we can go ahead and get the hell up out of here. Where does he go? Thank you for your business. Hey, I got to go up to FDI. <laughs> FDI insurance. Hey, I was just recently hurt in an automobile accident. My original lawyer told me he could give me $15,000 out of the settlement, but I went to FDI insurance and here's a $160,000 check. If you've been seriously injured in a car uh, accident previously, please call his number. Like, nigga, I'm not calling y'all motherfuckers. Y'all ain't about to get nobody no money. So Terry said, let me go up there and talk to the insurance people because we about to dip out, make sure that the bins is insured. You know what I'm saying? Do the things that a responsible adult would do. Let me, hey, Markeisha, hey. Jimmy on the beat, boy.